So you're looking for a demon, eh? Why in God's name are you... If you are looking for it, you will need the following evidence. Evil, playfulness, ghostwriting, and spirit box activity. And now for a bit of lore. So a demon is a very broad catch-all title for a lot of things that could appear in mythology or folklore. Demons have appeared in all types of mythologies as malevolent supernatural beings and creatures. So this could be anything from Judeo-Christianity to Islam to Buddhism, Hinduism, Norse mythology, and even Native American mythology. I am assuming that Rhinox is aiming more towards the Judeo-Christian demons, which were pretty much known as fallen angels. These were beings or entities that fought against God in the war in heaven and followed Lucifer in their fall from grace. In many depictions, they can be considered independent entities, or in a lot of other instances, they work in the service of Satan slash Lucifer. Their whole goal is to tempt humans into committing sin, or thinking about sin. And as a continuation from their war in heaven, they are locked in an eternal struggle with God slash heaven. So when I meant that demons are a catch-all term, I meant that literally, because in Phantom Investigation, there are many ghosts that can be considered demons or demonic. So we're looking at the Dupi, the Vitella, I guess you can consider the spirit, the Basti, the Debuck, Moroi, and Jumbi. All of them are considered to be under this heading. So what will you see when you meet a demon in-game? Well, there are two types of demons that you could run into. You can either get the extremely hostile version, which will go out of its way to make your experience a living nightmare, or you'll get the demon that's a little bit creepier. It's trying to trick you, make it seem like it's a different ghost altogether. So this one tends to be a little bit more of the dangerous variety because not only is it trying to lull you into a false sense of security, it can also end up costing you the game because you think it's something else. This is why I like to think that the demon is pretty much a mini boss in this game because there's such a variety of what demon type you can run into that it definitely will make you think and question yourself quite a bit, which is pretty much par for the course for any kind of demon.